Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. As we are entering into the uh, last 10 nights of Ramadan starting from tonight the 21st night uh, as we know that the last 10 nights are the nights in which Rasulullah sallallahu has told us to look for Laylatul Qadr to look for and search for Laylatul Qadr uh, we know for sure it's in Ramadan we know for sure it's in Ramadan most likely it is in the last 10 nights there is no certainty but it's most likely to be in those last 10 nights in those last 10 nights most likely in the odd nights in the odd nights uh, amongst those odd nights most likely towards the latter part of the odd nights and many scholars mentioned the 27th and this goes back to uh, statements of some of the companions some of the companions have specifically said that they, they view it as the 27th night but nothing has come which can make us certain nothing has come which can make us certain uh, of when the actual night of Laylatul Qadr is um, also consider the fact that the way we uh, compute the days or we count the days what may be even a night for us or might be a certain night for us might be a different one for those who started on a different day so for example we started here in Majid uh, we started fasting on the Monday there are some people who started fasting on Tuesday right so for them our odd is their even and their even is our odd their 27th is our 28th our 27th is their 26th so Whose night is it, right? What happens if what was with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the day beginning on the Tuesday instead of the Monday? So if you go just on based on that and you uh, only focus on the day you started, then perhaps you might miss Laylatul Qadr because of that. So uh, for all these reasons, it's not the best idea to single out one particular day because that day might not be accurate. There's some scholars who also say that Laylatul Qadr, it moves around every year so there are some majority scholars say it is one specific night it is one specific night in the month of ramadan others say it actually moves around one ramadan might be the 21st the next ramadan might be the 25th 27th and so on and they say it moves around wallahu alam whether this is the correct view or not uh, but this shows that we should not um, put our, all, our, all our eggs in one basket and just single out one particular night or any specific nights all ten nights, inshallah, we try to uh, do our best to perform our ibadah. Uh, second point when it comes to the ibadah in the, in the night of Laylatul Qadr is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Salamun hiya hatta matla'i al-fajr. That the peace and blessings of this night is the entire night until matla'i al-fajr, until the, the, the rise of dawn. Alright, so if you're performing ibadah, then make sure to take advantage of the entire night. Right, uh, a person might think that they make dua in the first part of the night and that's it, I've done my part. But Allah says, Hatta matla al fajr, until the rise of dawn. So if you can, all parts of the night, right? Get the beginning part, get the middle part, get the end part as well. So that you have all part of the night as uh, engaging in worship, so you can get the blessings of the entire night. And some of the scholars have even gone uh, as further as to say, you should worship in the daytime just as you worship at the night time. Uh, goes back to a statement from Imam, Imam Shafi'i. He says that I, would, I, I like, I prefer for a person to their effort in the day to, to be just like their effort in the night. The day just to be like their effort in the night, in the, in the, in the last 10 nights, particularly on the night of Laylatul Qadr and then also the day in which the Laylatul Qadr falls under. So these are all reasons for us to increase in our ibadah throughout the last 10 nights and last 10 days so that we can uh, catch this uh, important and blessed night. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to reach the night of the Qadr and to have our sins forgiven and has, have our status raised. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik. Nashadu la ilaha ila anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi.